Hi guys, we are still talking about Raspberry Pi 400. As I mentioned before, this product is suitable to be used as a personal computer for learning or productivity. Someone asked me if they don't have a HDMI monitor but they have a tablet, they plan to turn their tablet as a wireless display for the Raspberry Pi 400. Is it possible? This is a good suggestion. Do you want to know? Let's try. I will continue from the previous tutorial. Please make sure your Raspberry Pi have Wi-Fi connection. Then you can check the IP address through terminal. Write ifconfig this is my IP address for Raspberry Pi 400. This IP address will be used at tablet app later. Then we need to enable VNC on Raspberry Pi. Go to Raspberry Pi configuration. Click on interface tab. Click on VNC Enable and hit OK. Next, we need to restart the Raspberry Pi to activate the changes. For tablet, I'm using iPad mini. You can use any tablet that runs Android too. Please make sure it is connected to the same Wi-Fi as Raspberry Pi. Open App Store or Play Store and search for VNC app. The full name should be VNC Viewer Remote Desktop. Install the app and open it. It will display something like this, then click plus sign to create a new remote. Enter your Raspberry Pi 400 IP address. Save and connect. Now, Insert a username Pi and password Raspberry. Click continue. Now you can see the Raspberry Pi desktop on screen tablet. In other words, my iPad is successfully remote the Raspberry Pi 400 through VNC app. For now, we will focus on making the tablet as a display only. So you should be able to see the mouse cursor to move If you notice, there have two cursors So why did it happen? It is because one cursor is for remote and another cursor is from Raspberry Pi To avoid confusion, we can remove the remote cursor, press the eye icon, select interaction, and change to view only. Done. Now only one cursor which is from Raspberry Pi 400 can be controlled. In terms of smoothness, the display have a bit lag compared to HDMI monitor. If you want to connect any USB device, for example, you want to program a microcontroller, you need to connect to Raspberry Pi 400. Do not mistakenly connect to the tablet anyway. Another thing to mention, the Raspberry Pi display on my tablet is not full. You need to move the display manually. This is because the Raspberry Pi display ratio is full HD 
while my iPad is not. Luckily, it is not crop the display, but you need to move it from your tablet. So that's all for today. Please be reminded this tutorial is prepared for you to try and learn. I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies. Good luck and thank you for watching.